Hello, I'm Charles Heimlich, and this is Real Talk. Are you a film lover and love the art of filmmaking? Then join me every Friday from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Real Talk, as we talk all things film with writers, directors, producers, actors, film critics, right here on DMTV. Please follow us on social media and like us and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Ducor Media and never, ever, miss an episode of Real Talk. Welcome to Real Talks. I'm your host, Charles Heimlich, with the most. And tonight, we have a very, very different and special guest. But before we introduce that guest, you know, I asked God for a new car, but I know God don't work that way. So I stole a car and asked for forgiveness. All right. So with that said, let's introduce our new guest tonight. Amelia Bedelia is with us tonight. Hello, Amelia. How are you? Oh, hi there. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay. I'm so excited. That's great. <laughs> when you reached out to me, I was cleaning the kitchen floor okay. and I was like, oh, how exciting. I get to see other people instead of, you know, those little tiny ants that walk around the floors. Mm, They're fabulous. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So I understand. What do you do for a living? Well, of course I clean. Uh, <laughs> yes, course. no, no, but I have a very, very fabulous um, uh, owner, well not owner, I would call her an employer because you know I take care of her house. You have to really trust the people you take care of. Absolutely. Yes, yes. So her name is Mrs. Rogers and Mr. Rogers and they have a little puppy. Oh yes. really? What's yes. the puppy's name? Well we call her Lady because okay. she's nice and white and fluffy. Oh okay. Oh yes, but they were very, they are very nice people. But Mrs. Rogers, she's a little, she's a little bit wound up. Wound up? Yes, yeah, she's And what do you mean by that? Well, get this, get this. So when I, she asked me to do things that are very unusual. Peculiar. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Like, she asked me to draw the drapes, but she knows I don't draw. Mm. So I went, okay, I could do this. So I go and I get my coloring. You know, I had to get my colored pencils. I wanted to make it nice, nice and pretty. Mm. And so I went and I drew the drapes and I colored it in and I colored the sun. She came in and started screaming. Mm. And I said, why? And she said, well, when I said draw the drapes, I wanted you to protect my furniture. I said, I did. <laughs> no, 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 no. I dusted that furniture. I protected it so well. I did, I did. <laughs> and how do you dust the furniture? Oh, of course you take out the dust and you go, Oh, all over the place. It's nice and white now. <laughs> That's a good way to do it, I mm -hmm. guess. Yes, okay. but needless to say, she did fly off the handle, as we say. Mm. So I had to make my lemon meringue pie. I understand you make good lemon meringue pie. The best. Yes. The best lemon meringue pie. Mr. Rogers pie. loved Oh, he loves that pie, you know. That mm. came into the family. That's what keeps you employed. Oh, yes. <laughs> So, yes, so to speak. I do. I do that for all my houses. Oh, uh, okay. So you do more houses? Yes, of course uh, I do. Okay. I don't do one, silly goose. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. <laughs> and I understand you make cream puffs as well. I do make cream puffs, but lemon meringue pie always seems to be the key ticket to making everyone happy. Mm. Mm -hmm. It must be the meringue. I like cherry myself. Oh, well, I've not fashioned myself with cherry yet. <laughs> well, you will one day. Excellent. So what else do you do, uh, Miss Bedelia? Well, 
The other thing I do is I take the dog out. Mm. Yeah, she always tells me to take the dog out. So what I did is I go and I make a little tiny picnic and I set his little bowl down and I set my plate down and we have a nice little ham sandwich. Oh, interesting. Yes. And, and so you have to have some tea with that, right? Oh, of course. But I had to make sure that I did not give the tea to the dog because he knocked it over the first time and, and took out all the china. Ooh. Mm. Yes. So he now has a little tiny doggy bowl. Oh, nice. I nice. know. And so Fluffy, I mean, what's the no, dog's no, name No, no, it's Lady. Lady, Fluffy, sorry. that's a Fluffy doggy, but her name is Lady. So Lady. So does that come from like Lady and the Tramp? Is that where they got the Oh, name? I love Lady and the <laughs> Tramp. Oh, the two eating spaghetti together. It's just so romantic. It is, isn't it? Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> It's very interesting. So tell me a little bit more about you. Well, I came from Britain, of course. Of course. But I, I couldn't did, tell, but no, but get this, get this. I did move over here because it's supposed to be, you know, better for you to live here. You have more opportunities. Okay. Better well that's what my mother told me. Better in but, what way? Well, you know, more houses to clean, of course. Mm. I love cleaning. Cleaning okay. is number one thing to do. Mm. But then after that, I also noticed that my lemon meringue pies sell better here. Oh. I think it's because people don't know what good lemon meringue pies are. They don't know. No, they don't. I mean, Britain does. The British people do, and they buy it sometimes. But I love the Americans. They just eat it up. <laughs> well, Tasty Cake makes a lemon pie as well. I have no idea what Tasty Cake is. <laughs> it's tasty. Oh, that's but, fabulous. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, and that's local. It's from uh, our area as well. So, oh. so where do you live? Oh, uh, well, I go here and there. I don't really have a set point, mm. but I have been staying in like North Jersey. Oh, Jersey. North Jersey. So you're pretty close. Jersey. 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 I don't know how to say it quite, but it is very fabulous. It's good enough. It's yes. Good enough. We all it's Jersey. Well, do you know where we're at right now? No. Oh, all right. Well, we're in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that uh, just rolls off the tongue. Philadelphia. <laughs> uh, the home of brotherly love. Huh? Yes. Oh, I did have a brotherly love experience on the bus coming here. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't yeah. know if we could talk about that. Oh, no, it was fabulous. <laughs> okay. This older guy just came and sat by me, and he wanted to talk all about his day. And I said, okay, what is it? And he goes, oh, well, I'm going to go meet my nephew, and I'm going to see his new dog. And I was like, okay, well, that's a little boring now, isn't it? And he goes, oh, no, his dog went to the hospital. Oh. Yes, and so he had to take care of the dog in the hospital because his son was not going to take care of him. Mm. Is I the said, dog okay? Oh, of course, of course he's okay. I mean, he's in the hospital. So, well, well They of would course. take care of him. Right, right, right. Yes. What kind of hospital did the dog go to? A good one. A good one. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, that's important. Oh, so is the dog, uh, was he sick? Oh, oh, no, no, he got run over by a car. <laughs> okay. Well, it's Philadelphia. Well, no wonder. Oh, there you go. Yes, that's what he told me, because of Philadelphian drivers. Uh, they don't have drive? I don't drive. You don't drive? I don't So drive. how do you get around? Oh, no, the bus. Oh, the bus. Oh, no, I, I trust the loyal bus driver to get me wherever I need to go. Okay. Oh, yes, no, no, I cannot go behind a car. Why not? Oh, well, I don't trust anybody on behind the wheels. Mm. I mean, I, I don't know which brake to go to. And when I tried, oh my goodness, I kept on pushing the wrong brake the entire single time. It was... The wrong brake? <gasps> yes, there's, only... there's two brakes there. Oh, there's two oh, there's And right. I could not figure out which <laughs> brake was going where. Right. And, and then my car wasn't going to go anywhere. Mm. So I said, oh, it's done. I'm done. I will follow a bus. Okay, okay. And no trains. Trains are too fast. Too fast. No, no, too fast. I can't seem to jump off of them when they keep flying. I... I Mm. You can break a leg doing that. I've turned it. You broke your leg? Yep, yep, trying to get off the train as I kept moving. It, you know, mm. almost missed my stop. That's, yeah, I guess you would. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, luckily, you have two legs. So you oh, yes. <laughs> right? It was fabulous, though. I, I learned so much. So, I learned so much by being here in the United States. Oh, it is good. You it's like good. It? I mean, I do miss the British, though. Oh, you do? What yes. do you miss most? Mm, what do I miss the most? I miss walking everywhere. When you go to London, you walk a lot. Because oh, okay. everything's in one central area. Oh, so you, you know, don't take the bus there? Oh, no, no. Walking's so much better. Okay. You know, you go at your own pace. Have you ever met the Queen? Nope. 
No. I have not. She did not need me to clean her castle. Oh. And would you if she had Oh, of course. That would be the number one thing I could do. You know, getting all of those those uh, statues all dusted off and, and the photos and the paintings and oh, it would be a delight to do that. And if she wanted you to clean the clock, Big Ben, would you be able to um, do that? I could try. <laughs> now, if I try to clean a clock, you would have to climb up and I don't know if I could climb up that. Mm, that's pretty high. Yes. Yes, it, it is. It is very high. So how long have you been cleaning houses? Mm, I've been cleaning my whole life, but to cleaning houses by myself, I have been doing that for almost 10 years. By yourself? So you've done yes, it with someone myself. else? Well, so you worked course. for a company? No, no, no. My mother. Oh, your mother. Your yes. mother taught you? Uh-huh. Ah, okay. And well, you... of course she taught me. She was so good at it. So why not jump right on in? That's true. Good point. Yes. Good point. And what did your father do? Um, well, he... I don't know if I could talk about that. Oh, not good, huh? No. I, no, I don't think I should talk about that. Then let's not talk let's about that. Let's not talk about Yeah, let's, let's leave him out. We don't that. need him right now. Him. No. He was never good at cleaning. Oh, uh, no? No, hmm. not at all. No, okay. <laughs> so your mom did all the cleaning then? Of course. Did she do all the cooking? Oh, yes, but my grandmother was the one who taught me how to bake. Oh, so that's yes. how you know. Oh, it was so good. So the secret's out. Secret is out, but <laughs> my mother, my grandmother is gone, so you only got me left. Oh, well, I'm sorry. With the family recipe. Oh. I memorized every single number. Number? Yes, I numbered it from 1 to 20. And then every single time you memorized the one, and then you got the ingredients each time. Very good. Oh, yes. That's I do different. everything by numbers. Everything? Mm -hmm. Really? Everything's by numbers. Interesting. Yes. So when so I came here, 10? well, what I did, <laughs> no, 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 when I came here to get to here, the studio, I decided to count my steps. So I counted almost 4,620 steps to get from the boss that dropped me off here to here. Wow. So everything's by numbers. You actually counted that. Oh, yes. That's interesting. Oh, yes. It's so good to count so by numbers. So you must be good at math. Um, yes. Hmm. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, just a little bit. Yes, you know, I did not go into algebra. It sounds so funny, doesn't it? Algebra. Mm. It sounds so silly. So, did you go to school? Yes. Where did you go to school? Oh, I went to one in London. Oh, ah, okay. Yes. So, did you go to college? No, 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 no. I decided just to go clean. In the family it business. It was cheaper. Mm, okay. It was cheaper. Cheaper. A little mm -hmm. bit. Oh, oh, very cheap. So do you have any other interests? Oh, the other interests. I do love drawing. So that was nice that Miss Rogers wanted me to draw. <laughs> but I also like to go and, and sit in the flowers and just look at gardens and things like that. Interesting. They're very pretty. Except when you get a bee that stings you on your nose. And then that's not so nice. That's not so good. Yeah. No. Especially if you're allergic. Oh, no. I'm not yeah. allergic. Bees oh, are very good. fun. But they just don't, I don't like when they sting me. Mm. So do you often go into the garden and sit with the flowers? Oh, yes, all the time. All the time? You, oh, yeah. My mother has told me you had to meditate some days. So you go to the garden and you sit there and you go, hum, and it's supposed to ring in your head. So you go, hum, it's still ringing, but that's okay. That's what you do. Well, that would attract the bees because they- That's probably they, why they stung they me on the buzz nose. and you're humming, so, mm -hmm. you know. Exactly. <laughs> well, my mother didn't tell me that. She didn't tell you that? No, mm. not at all. Is your mother still with us? Of course. Well, not here. Oh. Why would she be here? I don't know. Well, she's not with us then. <laughs> Where she's over in London. Oh, she's in London. No, I did not bring her here. Mm. Why not? I don't know. I didn't call her. I probably should have done that. Mm. But that's okay. She'll watch this anyway. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. So tell me a little bit more about you. Sure. So let me see. I do like wearing shoes, but I like to have the, the shoes with a little bit of heel on them. Because okay. I like the clippity clop of those shoes. Mm -hmm. So when you walk down the sidewalk, it goes clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop, <laughs> clippity clop. Oh, it's so fabulous. So, some people think it's a little annoying. Wouldn't that mess up okay. your count? 
Oh, sometimes. Oh, it does, sometimes. Especially when I'm walking mm. in like New York and everyone I, keeps messing me up when they keep pushing me out of the way. And I'm like, excuse me, I'm just counting right now. And then they push and, you know, I mess up, I start over. And you have to start all over. All over Don't again. Don't you get lost doing that then? All the time. <laughs> and for some reason, it seems like I keep going around and around in circles mm. because I go to the right and I go another right and I go another right. I find myself right back where I started. Yeah, that would, that would do that. I know. <laughs> have you ever been to Broadway? Broadway, yes. That's where they sing a lot. Yes. I do like to try and sing. You now, sing? Mm -hmm. oh, no, 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 okay. I don't sing well. I just like to sing when I'm cleaning. Oh, you know, okay. you sing when you clean, because when you're singing, when you're cleaning, it goes faster. Oh, I have to try that. Oh, it's, it's fabulous. <laughs> but always have a good song in your head, a little tune tune. Okay, very good. <laughs> All right. Yes, so I do like Broadway. Have you ever seen a play on Broadway? I have not. Okay. I have I have decided that I was going to ask them if I could clean the Broadway theaters. Mm. I do think that would be a fabulous job. Would you know how to do that? Oh, of course. How would you clean the screen? Oh, no, no. You don't touch the screen. Oh. Oh, clean. no, no. I mean, the, 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 the chairs and Just all the that. Just mm -hmm. hey, the chairs. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The chairs would be beautiful to clean, mm -hmm. you know. But all those people, they always leave all their little trash everywhere. <laughs> yeah, they do, don't mm -hmm. they? Oh, yes. All you have to do is just clean it up. I never do that. I, I personally don't Oh, do that's that. good. Yeah, I try not to. But sometimes you got to spill some popcorn, you know, here and there. But so, Oh. So uh, what songs do you like to sing? Hmm. Let me think. Good songs to sing. Hmm. I'm a little teacup always rings in my head. I'm a little teacup. Well, that's yes. a good, that's a real good, that's a classic. I love it <laughs> because it reminds me of a little teacup and they're just singing it. But then it reminds me of Beauty and the Beast at the same time. True. But you never know. Right. But no, like I'm a little right. teacup short and stuff. Oh, it's such a good song. <laughs> oh, yes. And that makes the time go by. Oh, all the time. Very good, very mm -hmm. good. So what else do you like to do? Mm. Another thing I like to do, let me see. <laughs> I like to eat. Eat? Eat. Okay. Apples and bananas. Apples and bananas. <laughs> All the time. Hmm. And what, uh, is that just because, uh, what is that for? It's fruit. It's healthy for you. Yeah. Oh, it's just because it's healthy? Yes. Okay. What meals do you eat? Hmm. What meals do I really like to eat? I do like to have lasagna sometimes. It all depends on what you like to cook. That would be what you would like to and eat. And how you cook. And how you cook and when you cook. And when you cook. Yes. Now, do you guys have dinner? Do you still do dinner at lunchtime? Oh, yes. Okay. Well, it's actually like a, like a, like a, what I say, like a brunch sometimes. Because you have tea time. You can't forget tea time. And then after tea time, then you have dinner. Okay. Would you like to leave us with something special? Would you like to say something special to the audience today? Oh, I would love to say something. Okay. Well, go right ahead. All right. I would like to tell you that I love to clean for you. So if you would love me to help you, I would be grateful to do so. Thank you guys for having me. I'm so excited. And thank you for tuning in to Real Talk with Charles Heimlich and Amelia Bedelia. The special. <laughs> Us. All right, we'll be back right after this message. We're close friends. So you have any idea why anyone would want her dead? She's dead? No. Just asking. Um, um, I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, she did take a case recently. A case? Yeah, a murder case. It was, a kid was charged with murder. So you think this case has anything to do with her disappearance? I mean, I'm not sure. I do have feelings, though. Feelings? Hmm. I'm sorry, that's all I know. It's okay. We thank you for your cooperation. Have a great day. You too. Hello and welcome back to Real Talk. I'm Charles Heinlich and we are here with our very special guest. But now you have met Amelia Bedelia and now you're going to meet the actress behind Amelia and that is Victoria Stevens. Victoria! Hey, Yay! Great job. I hope you guys love the, uh, 
but uh, the skit we, we we did with Amelia, and mm -hmm. Amelia's a good, a very good person. So, She's very uh, how did you come up with Amelia? Well, when I was little, I uh, I've read all of her books. Oh, okay. And so I grew up on Amelia Bedelia. And the funniest thing is, I, you always have Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. You, have you all reminded the, me of that. Right. So you have all these characters that they made films with, but they've never done Amelia Bedelia. Hmm. And you're thinking, that's an easiest one to just jump into, you know? Sure. You can have a great, you know, movie of just Amelia Bedelia. That's a good point. You know, and kids would love it nowadays. They you would. Know? And the they funniest would. thing is my son even said when I put it on TikTok, he goes, is that Amelia Bedelia? And I'm like, <laughs> yep, that's her, you know? So that's, that's the big thing, you know? that's how you came up with that's it. That's how I came up with her. Nice, nice. Yeah. And so that you are doing that then. You I are am. actually working TikTok. It's on there. It's on TikTok. Victoria yeah. Stevens on TikTok. Uh, we'll, we'll put that up there, too. Mm -hmm. We'll have your name up there. So um, so tell us a little bit about, we're going to just start off from the beginning, like about you personally. Uh, growing up, where did you grow up? Uh, I'm born and raised from Jersey. Jersey. Jersey girl. Yep, yeah, Jersey girl. Oh, um, what uh, part? So I'm from South Jersey, so like near Cherry Hill area. Okay. Um, I always say Haddon Heights, and people have no idea what that is. So I'm like, oh, Cherry Hill area, you know? Well, I do, but... Uh, yeah, you know. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> Everybody else would be like, what is that? You know? Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, so I'm from there originally, and okay. then moved over into Philly. Oh, okay. So okay. yeah. So now you're a Philadelphia girl. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I used to live in Florida for about four years when I worked in Disney. Oh, cool. So I worked, Tell us about that. Yeah, so I worked in Disney World. I was a bellhop at Tower of Terror. And I also worked at the Beauty and the Beast show oh, wow. um, and Fantasmic as well. So that was all fun. Um, I started in the college program right after college and then became seasonal and stayed with it for a while. And okay. it's funny because that was one of my dream jobs as a kid. Uh, yeah, you, know, right? you know, you always have those dreams. So you're like, I want to do this. And, and the one thing is like, I was like, I'm going to be Eeyore, you know, like <laughs> what, you know, and um, I wasn't Eeyore, but I worked in Disney, you know, so it was close enough. Yeah. Um, so I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> so what did you play in uh, Beauty and the Beast? Well, I was uh, doing the outs, uh, working with the audience. Oh, okay. So okay. where, you know, the audience, so we were seating them. We were picking the person who gets the rose at the end. You know, all okay. of that. Oh, nice. Hullabaloo. Um, nice. But no, but it was cool, though, because I did meet all the actors and stuff. And we always had different names for the different bells. Oh, okay. Because there was one bell who totally was Irish. Hmm. And I was like, oh, we should have her for St. Patrick's Day, you know? <laughs> because she literally sounded Irish. And oh. I said, Belle's not from Ireland. She's from France. Um, but That's and then true. And it's funny because <laughs> you had some some interesting bells that were squeaky, so we call her Squeaker. Um, it was just we just that was us. We nicknamed them all, so it was really fun. Um, but then it was cool because when you know the show, like like the back of your hand, right. you could see where the flaws happen. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so fun seeing them try to cover it up. Yeah. yeah and I think that's hilarious. So. so growing up in um, Haddon, Haddon Heights or Haddon mm -hmm. Field? Haddon Heights. Haddon Heights. Yep. So growing up in Haddon Heights, um, what did you like most about growing up there? I like most about growing up in Haddon Heights. Um, there's not a lot there. There's not you know? really much there. Yeah. Um, I guess for me, it was, I mean, everyone knows everybody there. So, yeah, okay, yeah, you know, you know, your, yeah, you know yeah. your neighbors and all that. Um, I came from a uh, Christian school, so it was private, mm. and that was right around the corner. So, you know, like you walk to school, you know, so it was I know like, where that's at. Yeah. yeah. So it's all, it's all a small community. And it's interesting because it's like I was doing a lot of like acting things, you know, while. So you started school. acting young then? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I started in church, believe it or not. Wow. Um, yeah, did theater. I started completely in theater. And okay. was doing that in throughout college. So I did all. And the funniest thing is most of my theater friends that I have acted with are now like in Hollywood. So I think that's hilarious. Wow, that's really cool. I know. I said, oh, we were doing theater together. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we, we did Camden County College together and we did Rowan. Okay. So because I graduated from Rowan. So okay. that was my college career. But I also I learned how to do everything behind camera. So I did RTF communications with radio and it was radio, television, film, and then I did a minor in theater, minor in journalism. Oh, okay. So therefore, I'm utilizing all of my talents and making all the you know that's why I can make up Amelia Bedelia because I can do the camera, I can do the sound, I can do the editing, I can do all that, 
and then become, you know, the actor as well. That's well-rounded. That's yeah. Good. yeah. That's good. So, so that's fun. Um, so you got started young, and you had that interest to be an actress uh, at a young age. Yeah. Um, and now you're exploring a lot of areas now with that. So um, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about all your acting in a few minutes. But I also know that Victoria, guys, too bad, sorry, but she's getting married. You know, I'm still single though, so yeah. But anyway, <laughs> uh, she's getting married, so tell us a little bit about uh, mm -hmm. that. Yep, so I'm going to be getting married in 2024, roughly around August. Um, my 2024. Aunt, yeah, 2024. I had to save saving up money here, uh, but my aunt mother she works on the cruise line oh okay so i have utilized her and we are working to get my the wedding on the cruise mm -hmm. probably royal caribbean um and Great. then i want to have the guest all do the vacation with me oh nice so that's my main thing because i'm so tired of i used to cater tons of weddings mm -hmm. and so i could see <laughs> when some people are like just there because the bride wants them to be there <laughs> and i'm like oh my goodness no you know weddings are supposed to be a community thing not about one specific person and so i said all right we're going to do this opposite we're i will have the wedding on the cruise but most of it's going to be just the vacation of for everybody to be there so where are we going i know <laughs> caribbean <laughs> or the myself. bahamas oh there you either go. one of those i've already done bermuda mm. Um, and so those are the, probably the two, but then I always did say that if you do want to pamper me, then you just have to wait until I get my Emmy or Oscar and then you can pamper me. There you go. One of the two, good. right? Yes. Or both. What the heck? Both would so be great. Both. Uh, uh, me too, right? <laughs> uh, so Victoria, so I actually, me and Victoria know each other, um, mm -hmm. from actually a couple of projects. Uh, we're in Benita together mm -hmm. um and uh that again is is uh, prince Wai, who is also our producer and director here mm -hmm. on real talk and so tell me tell we don't want to give it away because it's just coming out so tell us a little bit about benita if whatever you can say how to word this um benita's about uh, I, I don't want to give a things away yeah we don't want to give too much um, away but um a woman who but you play Victoria. A, well, I play Victoria. Or yeah, Victoria Vicky. plays Vicky. Vicky right? mm -hmm. um, it's about a woman who has everything going for her in life until one incident changes everything. Mm. That's how I can. So we'll leave it at it. that. But it is a good film, and mm -hmm. it's. Uh, it has a twist. I can't wait. It has a couple twists, right? So yeah. that's uh, what I love about it. Yeah. It's exciting. It's exciting. I can't wait for it to come out. Yeah. Uh, and, and enter in some film festivals and whatnot. That would so, be fabulous. Yeah. And you have some ideas on that. Too, I do so. have a lot of ideas. <laughs> so, yeah. So, and then we also have a film that we're actually going to be on together called Paper. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about Paper. So I am the undercover, uh, I want to call myself detective. I would, pr I'll just call yeah. it detective. Hey, cop uh, detective. Yeah, undercover yeah. detective who is trying to catch this drug lord in the act mm. and take him down. Needless to say, you find something interesting about me in season two, um, where my character is not so innocent as she seemed. Mm. And we have to leave it at that, because she's, a, she's a little I, bit and tricky. I, and I get to... Uh be part of that so mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> i come in and he, he i might uh, be yeah taking my character out who knows yeah, something similar something's similar. going on something, down something's there something's happening there yeah so that's but my hair i love so. playing really tough like up your butt kind of characters yeah i i get that a lot actually um so my my character is very like sarcastic mm. like she 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 is not very kind to many people okay. uh, because she wants to get what she wants and that's it there you go that's it well, that's she doesn't, women, you know and, no, and if she has to step on you along the way that's okay with her you right know? right right so yeah <laughs> so um and that is uh produced and directed by omar moore omar mm -hmm. and a shout out to omar sir i know that you just went through surgery so our yeah. prayers for you on uh healing and um, I hope you're enjoying the show. So uh, Omar just went through so shoulder shoulder surgery, had a shoulder replacement. So mm -hmm. so uh, you know so that's going to come back, and we're going to start filming soon. I hope. I think that's in June. Yeah. In June mm -hmm. or July, yeah. Um, and so um, and then you have well, you have a couple of other projects as well. I so do. Tell us, uh, you just did um, 
you did the one down beyond your conscious there you go um this one is definitely a Sh M. Night Shyamalan twist at the end. Oh, nice. Really, I mean, but you have, it's very complicated. So you do have to follow the storyline. Okay. Because there's a lot of twists happening, and it's really cool um, to see it come together. My character is in most flashback scenes, because technically my character is dead. Mm. Um, so you get to figure out why I am dead. Uh, okay. I know. And believe it or not, my character tagline is through the entire film. Okay. Um, but you have to figure out why I'm there. Oh, nice. So it's, it's nice. a great twist. It really is. And now, is, um, this, is this already out? or? No, they're shooting it still. Oh, still shooting? Yeah, they're okay. still shooting. Okay. And then in the post-production stages. Oh, okay. Um, but they finish in two weeks and then post-production. Nice. I mean, this was a 150-page script wow. that we shot in a month. Oof. That's, you were busy. It was <laughs> intense. My, my uh, scenes took... Or like almost a day and a half. We went into the morning of the next day. Okay. So, yeah. Shot all day and night? Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I like so. it that way because it's like right. once you're in it, keep going. Keep going. Get it done. Yeah. Right. Stay in character. Get it done. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the best way. But to that is it. probably the, the character that has tried me the most as an actress. Okay. And I have grown so much from it because it's like it was so intense. I was so drained by the end of it, but it was so much fun. Nice. So, yeah, nice. that was great. All right, so what else, what other projects are up? Uh, so we have uh, Philadelphia, which Philadelphia. is filming right now. It's a series in Philadelphia. And um, uh, we're working on getting it all shot. We're going into June now. Um, but my character is, the, of course, I'm the captain who is bad-mouthed captain who takes down the detectives. Who just, she's just sleazy. <laughs> she's a sleazy woman. Yeah. And... Um, Again, she you just can't get away from that. Nope. And she does not care who she takes down. You know, mm. she is she has the mayor on her back and mm. she needs answers. And her two detectives are wasting her time. Ooh. So very intense scenes. Nice. <laughs> nice. I like that. I love having women in like strong, powerful, powerful positions. Roles. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, that's good. It is very fun. It is really good. Uh, and then I think, I don't know, about, an, yeah, about another year from now, maybe a little bit more, depending, uh, we have a film where we're going to be going to Africa. And mm -hmm. that is going to be a big one. That's, again, Prince Waii is going to be uh, director and producer of that as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, and you'll be playing what? Same, pretty much the same character. I'm not sure yet. Not we're sure. We're going to work on that one. Okay. But, um, but that one, we're working on the funding. Okay. So uh, we're so going we to get... So we need funding. We'll yeah, talk to you we about do, that. Yeah, we do. We do need, um, you know, people who, who are interested in, you know, supporting an up-and-coming production company who's right. going to, you know, make some big strides. Sure. You know? This is going to be a good feature film. So it absolutely. Is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, you know. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, my God. I always wanted to go there. You know, yeah, always want to be do fun. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. You yeah. Know, we're going to be busy working, but it's going to still be fun. As oh, well. I'm going to love... Yeah. Just to... to act overseas would be nice i know right It'd be fun. right yeah it's a huge it's huge all right um so tell us a little bit more about what where you want to go with your acting career yeah that's the biggest thing so believe it or not i want to step more into tv um oh, i've okay. done a lot so on my imdb now i think it's up to 150 credits i think i've gotten that far wow that's i know really good yeah. i was at 70 and then it has upped its game um so yeah so that's good I'm bridging that mark there. And, uh, but now I want to get TV. I'm, I've been focusing a lot on uh, connecting with casting directors and producers of these TV shows. And I can see myself on comedy. That's my thing. Yeah. I would love to do comedy. Do like comedy and I would yeah. love putting it out there in the atmosphere, be on Ghost. Uh -huh. I think that would be a fabulous series to be on. Um, and I really think my comedy would, would shine right, right. on that series. So. You know, and again, Law and Order and all those, you know, I played tons of cops and detectives, so right. that could be right down my alley. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're good at that. So <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. And um, well, what would be, besides that, what other things are, are you doing with yourself um, mm -hmm. uh, hobby-wise? Well, I, I utilized my journalism degree, um, and I am a writer for Hollywood Times. There so I have been using that, um, but I also reached out to a couple of Hollywood magazines who are interested in me writing for them as well. 
Um, and I'm just spreading my wings a little bit in that area because mm -hmm. I found out that I might not be able to write TV shows, but I'm really good at writing articles about them. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm really good at interviews and, and using my you know, journalistic tendencies of what I've learned, you know, and, um, and, and doing great stories. So I've been doing a lot of Hollywood Times stories for them, and I have about three right now in the works and nice you know i just keep moving forward but i mean that's how you network and and you are moving forward and now yeah. i'm proud of you for that thank you and if anybody wants to get a hold of victoria stevens we'll have some information out there she mm -hmm. does the TikToks with the uh, amelia bedelia mm -hmm. and a couple other things and she is a comic she does comedic uh work as well mm -hmm. uh, do you still do that show that comedy show that you were doing i do right now it's a hiatus because he went down to atlanta oh, so okay. he's doing some live performances down in atlanta Okay. Uh, and then we're going to hopefully start that back up again. Well, thanks for being here, Victoria. I really appreciate being on the show. Thank yes. you. And guys, I want to leave you with a little message uh, before we leave. There was a man and he was walking along the beach and he saw that were thousands and thousands of starfish all washed up ashore. And he started picking them up one by one and throwing them back into the ocean. Another man saw this and walked up to the man and said, what are you doing? You're just wasting your time. Obviously, you can't make a difference. There's thousands and thousands of starfish. So the man reached down, he picked up a starfish, he threw it back into the ocean, and he said, it made a difference to that one, didn't it? So folks, it's very important that the people that you touch, that you reach out to them and you never know what kind of life you can change by reaching out to help someone. Always reach out to help someone whenever you get an opportunity and share that love and, that, and show that you care. And so we're going to leave you with that. I also want to thank everybody and thank Victoria and thank mm -hmm. my uh, crew here and everybody uh, for, uh, for episode, I'm sorry, for uh, our season one. This ends season one right now and uh, we're going to come back with season two. So we look forward to coming back with season two with more guests and a lot of new information for you guys. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. And we'll see you next time on Real Talk, where we keep it real.